Leading Edge, a Marley Engineered Products brand. Oh, it's upside down. This is a Dayton 36 inch industrial ceiling fan. It's catalog number 3620-1. It specifies the color is in white. I'm not aware of these coming in any other colors. It only contains one. I wish it contained quite a few. I bought this a couple months ago and I paid a little bit more for this than I normally would. I've wanted one of these for a very long time. These are probably among the most powerful. I don't want to say the most, but it's among the most powerful 36 inch ceiling fans around. Um, a couple I could think of that might come close would be the there's an SMC version it's a spinner, it has no motor housing it's a four blade model. That, that one is extremely high performance that could potentially come close. The Contec might come close as well but these are insanely powerful. I think that the RPM spec is something like 400 something RPM on high. It's really outrageous. So let's uh, open this up here and see what we got. I like to not make a total mess of the box, but these staples are probably not going to be easy to get out. There is a 36 inch industrial offered by Envirofan. I have shown that on this channel before. And that's a nice, very good quality fan. And it's powerful, but it's not impressive uh, for a 36 inch at all. I don't think it would hold a candle to this one. In fact, I, I think there's even some residential fans that probably can outperform that 36 inch Envirofan. I don't know why it's so weak. I think maybe the curved blade design just, just doesn't work well for something so small. Okay. Now we can open up the box. Hmm. It must be configured with the longer down rod by default, maybe. Nope, it's not configured with either one by default. Hmm. This is the right size for the living room. Oh boy. I might have to go back and get some more. And put three of them in the living room. That would be super cool. Although really for heat reclamation the uh, shorter rod is probably better. This is surprisingly heavy. The uh, Envirofan one doesn't weigh much at all. And that's I think cast. I don't believe that this is a cast motor. It should be, but that's a different story. The blades are in their own little box. Okay, this is a little complex. Hopefully I can get this back together without too much trouble. Oh, that's not so bad. Oh, it actually comes with its own control. I'm sure this introduces a horrible buzzing sound, so I likely wouldn't use this, but... It's a nice, uh, a nice looking control for whatever it's worth. 
but I'm sure this is just a cheesy, um, you know, uh, solid state thing. I doubt that this is a nice voltage regulating control like the stack of ones are. Pretty beat up spec sheet. Yeah, here we go. 36 inch model number 36201. RPMs 395. That is outrageous. And it only requires a seven foot ground clearance. When mounted in cathedral ceilings, the blade tip should be at least 12 inches from the angled roof line to prevent air blowback causing possible fan sway. For heat reclamation, this fan should be mounted on the standard 2 foot down rod. In low ceiling applications, the 8 inch down rod must be used in order to keep the fan blades a minimum of 7 feet from the floor. On installations through drop ceilings, note the diameter of the down rod hole in the ceiling should be two and a half inches. So these, I believe, have the rolled edge on the blade so that you can mount it uh, seven feet and not ten feet. That also means it probably makes an annoying noise though. Yep, see, rolled edge versus the straight edge. That lets you have the lower ground clearance. This is what the blades look like, and they've got some some pretty serious um, pitch to them, being that they're not a flat blade. Yeah, that's not bad. And this is the the rolled edge, so that when it's moving, if you know you collide with it for some reason, it won't cut. It just smacks. <laughs> It's going to be probably just as painful, but if I guess if it was like this, it could potentially cut. I doubt it would cut through anything, but um, the blades are balanced in a set. Do not mix. Do not separate. These are, I guess these are steel blades. They're pretty heavy. It's getting kind of late, but I really want to try one of these out. I think I'll control myself and wait until the morning. Otherwise the video is going to be full of all sorts of scrubs because I'm tired. This is heavy. Wow, that's much bigger than the contact one is. Canopies are huge. They're plastic though, which is kind of unfortunate. So this, I don't believe, comes with the um, the mounting apparatus to put it on a to put it into an electrical box. That's okay. I have a bunch of those that I ordered from the Viro fan. It just converts a. Um, It just converts the standard electrical box. Here it is. No, that's not it. Oh, no. Did I lose those again? I have a lot of them now because I ordered a bunch of them like a year or two ago. And I lost them all somewhere in this mess that I have here. So I ordered some more. And uh, I saw them a couple days ago, so they're not gone. But they're temporarily lost at the moment, which is annoying because I'd really like to show them in this video. Oh, come on. I know they're around here somewhere. I intentionally kept them in close proximity because I knew that I was going to want to use them again very soon.
somewhere. Oh man. Well, I can't, I can't really use this until I find them, so I guess, I guess it will have to be a project for tomorrow. I'm certainly not going to find them tonight, I don't think. Thanks. Jeez, I really thought I kept them on the surface. Alright, I'm not going to waste any more time in this video. But anyway, there's a, there's a bracket you can get to mount these two electrical blocks like 12 or 15 bucks it's not that expensive uh, but it's great very handy to have this is to uh, this comes with two hooks one is threaded to go into wood and the other one is um, actually I guess you probably could put this um, I guess you could like drill through an electrical box and put I don't know you probably could figure something out Here's the motor itself. This is dated 0209. I don't know if that's 2002 or 2009. It's very heavy motor. It's huge. I mean, this this is bigger than what you typically find in 52 inch fans. Only 0.6 amps. It doesn't doesn't take much power. Made in Thailand. Suitable for use with solid state speed controls. I don't know why you would want to use one because they're so stinking loud and obnoxious. It is a uh, 7.5 microfarads capacitor. It actually hangs down pretty low, especially once you've got the, uh, what do you call it in place, the hook. Well, that's pretty cool. Um, I'm glad I finally have one of these. The performance on these is absolutely insane. I really want to test it out tonight, but I can't find the mounting apparatus, so we'll have to check back tomorrow, and we'll test it then.